Production begins 2019. So if you order now, get the part, the truck in two years. Okay, so maybe Elon was a bit off about the timing of Tesla semi deliveries. This was during the unveiling back in 2017. The Tesla semi, Tesla's class eight semi truck is probably the most doubted of Tesla's vehicles. And despite being three years late for delivery, Tesla semi will finally be delivered tomorrow and we're all excited for that presentation. This comes after Elon acknowledged on Twitter that the Tesla semi completed a 500 mile drive carrying a load of 81,000 pounds. Now, if you're familiar with trucking loads, you might be wondering how Tesla can legally get away with exceeding 80,000 pounds. According to the US Department of Transportation, electric battery vehicles get an extra 2,000 pounds allowance, so they can have 82,000 pounds total combined weight. And the recent pictures that we've seen of the Tesla Semi are beautiful. In fact, look at this comparison from 2017 to now. One thing we've noticed is that Tesla usually sticks with their prototype or concept design. Compare that to some other automakers that show nice concepts but disappointing real world designs, like the Mercedes EQS. Speaking of other brands, Tesla Semi completing this milestone drive really makes it shine compared to its competitors. Nikola, Mercedes, Volvo, and Daimler have yet to accomplish this type of long range. So how much do these cost? Well, the standard range Tesla Semi that has a 300 mile range is going to cost you 150K, whereas the Big Daddy, the one with the 500 mile range costs $180,000. Tesla has guaranteed that the truck won't break down for a million miles. Also, in this dated presentation, Elon said that the Tesla Semi would have four independent motors, but looking at Tesla's website, apparently now it is three independent motors. Jackknifing is, is uh, usually the worst nightmare of a, of a trucker. Uh, how do you stop your, your vehicle from, from jackknifing if you're in, in difficult conditions? The truck will automatically stop jackknifing because it's got independent motors on each wheel and it'll, it'll dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel so that jack, jackknifing is impossible. <laughs> Your worst nightmare is gone with this truck. Gone. You never have to worry about it. <laughs> Don't you hate getting stuck behind a truck driver on the highway? Well, keep in mind that Tesla Semi can accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds. And this is all while fully loaded. Also, let's talk about the lack of maintenance. You won't need brake pad changes. There's no transmission, so it won't break. And there are zero emissions. But Elon revealed what he's most excited for. Um, and, and this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion proof glass. <laughs> close, I mean it's close. So standard glass, now, now why is this important? Because, uh, uh, see, look, nothing. Um, survived a nuclear explosion, that was incredible. So the, the, the actually what's important here is, uh, by nuclear, survives a nuclear explosion or you get a full refund. <laughs> okay, full refund. Now, Tesla Semi is not only more environmentally friendly, it's also more economically viable. So we really thought about this a lot. And when you take everything into account, you take the lease cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all of the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla Semi per mile. So. I want to be clear, this is from day one. So it, from day one, having a Tesla Semi will beat a diesel truck on economics. Tesla Semi is about to turn the trucking industry upside down and companies like Pepsi and UPS have been eagerly awaiting this delivery. They have ordered a hundred or more semis from Tesla. Despite all of this excitement, there has definitely been some public scrutiny by big names. 
After the vehicle's unveiling in 2017, the chairman of the board of management for Daimler Truck, Martin Dom, said if Tesla could meet the semi's target specs, the vehicle would practically break the laws of physics. He said, quote, if Tesla really delivers on this promise, we'll obviously buy two trucks, one to take apart and one to test, because if that happens, something has passed us by. But for now, the same laws of physics apply in Germany and in California. We also can't forget Bill Gates posting in his blog that this type of range is impossible. Check this out. In 2020, he wrote, EVs excel at short haul travel. That means they're great options for personal cars and even medium duty vehicles like city buses and garbage trucks. But even if we develop cheap long range EVs that are powered by zero carbon sources, electrification isn't an option for many types of transportation. Now he continues in this blog to talk about the promise of biofuels, but there's now a standing invitation from Elon for Bill Gates to come test drive the semi, and this is making headlines as well. One other criticism I've seen from truck drivers on Twitter, and this surprised me, is criticizing the 500 mile range as just simply not being enough and not being impressive. They seem to indicate that 500 mile range is not practical, but realistically, look at the average day for a trucker. And don't forget to factor in charging during a lunch break or a bathroom break. By the time you are, you're done with your break, the, the truck is ready to go. You will not be waiting for your truck to charge. It's a big deal. 30 minutes of charging can get that semi back to 400 miles of range. So how far do truckers typically drive in a day? Well, due to government regulations, at the absolute peak, a driver can drive 11 hours in a 24 hour period. If they happen to travel 65 miles per hour the whole time, that's 715 miles maximum. But think about it. Let's be real, in most cases, a driver's day won't be spent only on the interstate, so we can't bank on 65 miles per hour all day. So what about 50 miles per hour on average? That puts us at about 550 miles if a driver is driving for 11 hours. Well, good luck with that. How realistic is it that a driver is spending their entire day driving? Well, it's really not very realistic. For example, ATS, a trucking company, says when they plan loads, they expect roughly two hours out of a driver's day to be spent either unloading at the previous delivery destination or loading at the pickup destination. So they say they can realistically expect a driver to be driving for about eight hours. That's just under 500 miles of travel a day. So Tesla Semi, 500 mile range, average just under 500 miles a day, I think, I think that's pretty good. So obviously tomorrow is an exciting day. I wish that I could be there. I unfortunately didn't get an invite. And while Tesla Semi may be late to the party, it's better late than never. And certainly looking back, it's clear many thought that this would be a never product. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Tesla Semi. Also, please consider signing up for my Patreon so you can support Ellie in space full time. As many of you know, I am doing this full time and your support really helps to keep this channel alive. So thank you in advance for clicking that link in the description. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, we'll just see what tomorrow has. We're kind of curious if there's gonna be one more thing, maybe a surprise. Some people have rumored, so this is just a rumor that there will be 30 hand-built cyber trucks ready to deliver. I don't know, I'm releasing this video today. I'll be watching with you on Thursday during the event, so we'll just have to wait and see.